Hi guys, hope you're doing great. We're going to be reviewing today Amouage's Beloved Man. Uh, it's a scent I haven't smelled before, even not even from the cap. I got it from a nephew and uh, I think it's going to be a good one based on the reviews I've been reading online. Uh, on the package it says Beloved is a woody spicy oriental fragrance with top notes of black pepper, cardamom, enhanced with rich floral in the heart, the selection of rich woods and resins in the base adds warmth and comfort to the distinctive fragrance. So let me just spray it once and see what's happening with this one. It's zingy. Immediately you're getting grapefruit, pepper, geranium, a lot of grapefruit. It's uh, nice. I like grapefruit. It does smell resinous, like a lot of resins, for sure. Leathery, cedar wood, vetiver present, peppery. It's, it's hard to describe uh, amouages in general for me personally, because they have so many notes inside of them. It's hard, really hard. It's leaning more to the masculine side, but a woman can wear this one too, for sure. It's more woody now, cedar wood is coming up. It's enjoyable. I can't I can see myself wearing this one. Is it my taste? I wouldn't say it's my taste, really not. It has some spicy elements, sweet elements. I think it's easy to wear. Um, it's smooth, it comes off classy. More for a colder weather, I would say, not really for the summertime. Um, the beginning, whole beginning of the scent, it's pretty citrusy. Although you can get some cedar wood, you can so get some resins. It's fresh at the same time, a, a bit sweet. It smells really good, classy, handsome. The opening was just a bit harsh. Uh, right now, it's it's more uh, comfortable for my nose to smell it. You can really dive your nose inside of it, so it's really good. It does smell a little bit like Chanel Allure Sports lineup, like uh, it's leaning more to that creamy side right now. It's really, really reminding me of sh some Chanel scents. If I could like describe it in a couple of words, I would say woody, uh, zesty, masculine, a tiny bit of sweetness. But overall, a very classy, nice scent. It reminds me of other scents, but at the same time, it also doesn't remind me of other scents. What I'm trying to say with this is, it has its. You can smell that it's, it's going towards that fresh, sweetish, classic sense, like a little bit of barbershop elements that I'm getting. But as, at the same time, it's also able to differentiate itself with the other notes that it has. It, it supposedly has cardamom. I uh, haven't smelled cardamom inside of it. Really no cardamom. No, black pepper is definitely there. Um, the woods are there, resins are there. But no cardamom, I would say. It's not a very spicy scent because it's smelling really nice citrusy, like uh, I would say orange, uh, lemons. It smells high class, it smells expensive. I'd say kind of like Dior Sauvage, but not really Dior Sauvage. It's it's balmy, it's creamy, it's it's nice, um, zesty. It's silky. It's becoming more and more silky. The the longer it goes, the har it is becoming drier down. The the harshness of the opening is fading away. It's more sophisticated and 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 the happy scent, guys. I would love to be wearing this one. When I just sprayed it, I didn't really like it, but <laughs> as it's drying down more, it's becoming a gem, guys. It, this is really a nice scent, and even from the cap, it's it's uh, amazing. It's it's how should I put it? Like amusing to smell this one. I would like to smell this one even from from other men, uh, because it's it's lovely. It's un enjoyable to smell something like this. I would really. Ah, and and the name itself, beloved man, it really goes well with the with the scent itself. They have picked up a really nice name for the scent. 
right now it's becoming more LME, uh, more woods. Um, the cardamom is still not coming out. It smells just a bit waxy now, like some kind of candle. Overall, it's just a nice scent, guys. They they put a lot of notes inside of it, and su surprisingly, it's doing very well for for uh, all these notes together. And it does smell kind of barbershoppy to my nose. The grapefruit is slowly dying down. You're getting a little bit more of the orange. Some jasmine is always going to be there. Overall, I would say you should have to be smelling this one yourself and see if you like it. Just from the cap alone, I'm getting first of all a lot of like grapefruit combined with some lemons, limes, a lot of citrusy elements. But then once you de de delve deeper into the scent, you are getting a lot of woods. This is very good guys. This deserves a 9 out of 10 for sure. I won't buy this one because I don't see myself wearing it because this is not my subjective taste. But objectively looking at it, this can be for sure a gem for a lot of guys out there. Age-wise, I'd say 20 to 40 to 50 doesn't matter guys. Any age can wear this. It does smell a bit mature for somebody that's not 20 years old. Let me put it that way. Can it be worn by women? No, not anymore. In the beginning, I was leaning just like maybe masculine and feminine, but since it's drying down a little bit more, and especially when you are smelling the dry down from the cap, I'm certain this is only for men. It smells amazing. I can't bash it in any way, shape or form. They've done a great job with this one, and I think this is going to be inside my top five uh, amouages list for sure. I'm going to make a video very soon about it once I finish all the men's fragrances by amouage. Um, and right now it does also smell like it could be, wo be worn in the, in the summer. It, it, at the start, because it was so harsh, I was thinking like only winter time. But no, it can, it's pretty good for all year, basically. You can wear this one and it can be for sure a versatile scent uh, because it's, it's just so good. Like uh, there are no harsh elements inside of it. Um, and it can be worn all seasons. It can be worn by almost, almost, almost all ages of men very appealing very attractive it's not going to be seductive sensual definitely not just a tiny bit i would say because it has some sweet elements coming from that grapefruit but it's beautiful i would say like nothing is wrong with this one i might just test it out more and more and I fall in love with this one because it's, this is truly beloved like the fragrance name itself this smells expensive like the price is actually it is an expensive scent but really lovely would i wear it i might wear it right now i don't see myself wearing this because this is not my taste but i can see a lot of men wearing this one for sure and a lot of women will like this one that's for sure oh just it's it's nice it's it's really good and it smells like lemony grapefruity fresh it's a little bit of freshness like some kind of greens like minty maybe but not a lot of mint it reminds me just a bit of hugo boss's bottled but uh, that's it basically you're not going to get a lot of similarities uh, with other fragrances i must say it's amazing guys um it comes off like an expensive scent it comes off like somebody would wear it that has money uh, and most importantly is I don't see this one very similar to just one scent. This has a lot of similarities with different uh, fragrance DNAs, but at the same time it is able to stay unique. This is why I love it, this is why I'm giving this a 9 out of 10, and who knows, maybe if I test it out a couple of times I might truly fall in love with it and say this is my taste. At the moment it's not my taste, but subjectively I really love it guys. A 9 out of 10 for sure can be worn by a lot of men and be enjoyed by them. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. I'll see you guys in the next one. Ciao, ciao.